Hello everyone and welcome to Curse of Theseus um, tech demo. This is a procedurally generated maze game based, uh, based off of the myth of Theseus and the Minotaur, where Theseus goes into a labyrinth and has to explore and escape while thwarting the deadly Minotaur. Um, this game is procedurally generated around the player and it will while it will create dead ends, it will never leave the player in a position where they cannot proceed. Um, I create pre the corridors and prefabs used in Unity and then create a big master list of what to spawn in. Um, the game is still in early development, so there is currently no way to actually win, but I will add that in later. Um, there is also no Minotaur in the game yet. Uh, there is a model, but it is not yet animated or AI fit, set up yet. Um, currently, I've worked mostly on the maze generation. Uh, the game has some easy controls, WASD to move. You can hold shift to run, which strains your stamina. Um, holding completely still will, increase, will refill your stamina faster than trying to walk around. You can also hold control to crawl. Um, and if you crouch, that's the fastest your stamina will re replenish because you are resting. Um, you can also use the left button to interact with... Apparently there's a secret wall here. I d actually didn't notice the secret wall there. Um, but you push the left button to interact with objects, open doors, pick up items, ouch, and stuff like that. These are traps on the floor that hurt you. man. Man, I'm being interrupted by my own random generated game. Um, you can right click toggle the lantern on and off. And R will use an oil vial item to refill the lantern, but it will not refill until it's underneath the little red symbol there. Um, when the player's health drops to zero, they will die, so you gotta be careful on that. Um, you, might, you can also use the digit keys to use chalk to mark where you've been. This will prevent a corridor from changing as you progress. In this game, the corridors will actually change around you as you explore more. Um, leaving a chalk marking will make it last longer than it normally would. The only way to make a corridor truly permanent is to find a torch and light it using a match. You also can collect keys as an item in this game to open up a treasure chest which might spawn in and will give you a bunch of extra items. And I found dead ends. Alright, that's another dead end. I'm also already out of chalk, I gotta find more items. I'm going to attempt... oh hey, wait a second. Ha! Key! A little pickup sign shows up, letting you know that it's there, in case you didn't notice it. I'm trying to find a torch to use as an example. I might skip ahead to when I find one. So here's some gates. Um, I animated these actually in Unity itself. It's actually just basic movement, not a real animation. Um, all of the 3D models I made myself in Blender. The post-processing, particle, and light effects were all done in the Unity engine. Oh, and here's a torch. So I'm going to turn off my lantern for the full effect here. Walk up, click use a torch, and it lights itself up. Proper shadow castings everywhere. Um, and so now this particular corridor will actually never disappear. I found more matches. I was kind of hoping to find more oil. So this corridor is now permanent. You'll, it'll always be there no matter how much the rest of the map changes. You'll always be able to find this one again. Another feature this game currently has is a nice pause feature which actually pauses the game. Um, it has three options, one to, one to resume, and then there's an options screen which allows you to change the mouse sensitivity, which actually works. Is also, yeah, whoa. 
and then there's a graphics setting menu where you can change the overall graphics of the game. I might expand upon this later. If you go all the way down to the lowest, shadows are disabled. And then there's a screen resolution menu where you can actually change the screen resolution and toggle between full screen and windowed mode. I can't really show that in a video like this. And then there's a quit button which will obviously quit the game. And uh, I think that's all I have to explain for today. Um, the game is still in development, obviously early beta, and I am working really hard on a nice animated Minotaur model. Um, hopefully I can get this game to a playable build in the near future. Oh, I went too fast, and this wasn't spawned in yet. Oh. Yeah.